guys, welcome back to another build in The Sims 4. I am in such a good mood today. I just feel like building something really cute. So we're gonna try and build a perfect home for best friends in The Sims 4 today. And what I mean by perfect, the other day I did this like perfect family home in The Sims 4. And basically what I want to happen with this house is I want to have absolutely everything that I need for these best friends to live a fulfilling and happy life in The Sims 4. So that's what we're gonna base our build around today. I'm basically gonna make sure that they have tons of activities. Look at all this floor all space. So with your robots in here. So many activities. And what I want to happen is I want this to be like two separate houses in one. I'm gonna connect them with a bridge and this way they can go over to each other's like house very easily. They've got their own separate living quarters, but they can still hang out and like live right next to each other. And is that not the dream of having a best friend? I think we're gonna go modern today. And I think if we do it like this, eventually I could have one door here on like this building and then one on this and then underneath we could connect it with like a little platform leading to the backyard and I really want to make sure we have tons of like backyard activities too so like for our best friends for these sims that are gonna live here I want to have like games that they can play together I want to have like team activities that they can do together so that they can spend time and like actually hang out and of course that means we get to decorate two different complete houses so I'm excited about that I don't know if I'm gonna make them like opposite like we could do one more like neutral colors and then the other one we could do like more like colorful or something I haven't really decided yet and then this part over here one of them is gonna be slightly bigger than the other this one's gonna have like a little bit of like uh, an expansion on the house so maybe we could even go with like a glass roof on the side for that I just kind of adjusted my platforms to make these little stairs leading up and I think that looks pretty good and on the side I'm starting to go in and make these I've made this room on the third floor my house is only two stories but up here I'm working on building this like roofing detail so I've already got the one side I'm gonna copy and paste this to the other and then this is gonna just look like those little like window bump outs I might even put glass on these upstairs because it looks kind of nice like that and then for the roof paint I came across this recently it's this like burgundy maroon kind of like red roof paint I think it looks really nice with like some brown wallpaper or something I'm picturing like eco lifestyle maybe in this like wood for the bottom floor here and then for the top floor we could do something different like maybe like a white paneling spot a seems to be my favorite whenever i need like a good old white paneling i'm also gonna build just a little like shrub holder <laughs> right there i'm gonna put a shrub in it and that's gonna be like my landscaping started let's bring this deck back actually we're gonna bring that all the way here this can kind of like wrap around i'm building on a very big lot this is a base game lot in uh willow creek a 50 by 50 lot i want to make sure we take up the whole space for the backyard especially since like the backyard I can see them spending a lot of time here so I really want to focus on that bonding between these two besties the fate of their friendship is in this house's hands so I'm using a wall tool and going in and building that and then on top of it I'm gonna go in with my half wall and I'm gonna build right up there as well until I'm happy with the height that I want for this so I think maybe I'll go one more higher up we'll get a little chimney I think I might like this one for this just regular base game and we can change that swatch to maybe like a brown just kidding why was adding wallpaper the cause for deletion on that <laughs> i'm so confused <laughs> that jimmy was like nah i'm out i don't want to be a part of this so yeah this little thing here is what i was talking about for my landscaping so i'm gonna go in with a shrub because they fit perfectly in there when you size them down like one so we'll take this one i'm gonna size it down using the brackets on my keyboard and then i'm gonna raise it up using control nine on my keyboard just until you can kind of like see it peeking through like that and then i'm gonna go with this tree and we can kind of use these to like wrap around i see a lot of people using these trees these are like the trees to landscape with they're so easy they remind me of like that dine out plant <laughs> like this one in the way that they're just very very easy to decorate with landscaping 101 use that tree it's very easy to place okay so i think our shell is looking pretty good i think it's time to add the windows and doors and this is where i really want to make sure that everything is going to function the way that i want it to so we're gonna look for like a brown door maybe a white what about this one from get together i think they have like a cute dark brown swatch like that and then this one it can go 
over there. And then later when I do the walkthrough, I'm going to show you guys how you can actually like make this so that Sims will only go to like those separate homes. And that's what I meant earlier by saying that it's going to be like two homes on one, but it's actually like, I don't think it looks too separate. You know, I think with the roofing and the bridge, it does look like one cohesive house for the windows. I know that over here, I want this to be like pretty open. So I'm going to go in with some glass windows, all glass from Eco Lifestyle. Actually, let's just use the base game ones. Why not? I get so caught up in like using these and they're literally the same, just like different swatches. So base game it is for this little thing. I actually recently realized how much I like these windows from Fitness Stuff. Fitness Stuff is one of those packs that I don't ever use, but these are kind of cute. I like how they look. There's like a little bit of frost on the top, like a nice little detail. I think I'm going to put those in between this little part here. And then for the rest, I'm probably going to go in with more of just like these slender, modern looking windows. Let's maybe grab some cottage living windows for the top, like just for right here. I feel like I need a little something. So I'm going to go in with that there, maybe both on each side. Now that I think my windows are kind of coming along, I want to do my favorite part of the exterior, which is adding the details and the landscaping. And I think I'm going to get a fence and kind of like start to pick out where I want my backyard to be. So I'm going to start with this one here from Get Together. And I'm just going to kind of like make an entry area first. So kind of like that. And then I'm just going to bring it like this this way a little bit. One thing I see people doing a lot is kind of like going just straight in there with this fence and just going like that. And that's okay. But sometimes I like to change it up a little bit and do like a little bit of bump outs in my fencing for my backyard. So like sometimes we'll go like this. Maybe there's like a little back area like that. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like it just makes it look a little bit more different and unique. And then you can kind of also go in and pick out little spots where patios can be. So back here, naturally, like I think this could be a little patio area. My my pool could go right here and I think I might fence it in. One, one thing I never do is fence in my pools, which is actually illegal here in Canada. I don't know how it is for like everywhere, but if you don't have your pool fenced in, it's literally illegal and I never do it in The Sims. So maybe we'll follow the rules today just a little bit. And then I'm kind of thinking also we could do like a little sunken part here, but then go back in with a platform. Oh my God. My headphones just died and that scared the crap. <laughs> that was genuine fear. <gasps> it was just like beep battery dead. <laughs> anyway, oh my God, that woke me up so much. I wish you guys could hear that. But also I don't because I don't want to scare you. Watching this back, what even is the purpose of having the ding when it dies? The music stops. It's dead. I don't need the beep. Just die. Okay, I might have gotten carried away a little bit. <laughs> my landscaping is a little bit insane, Um, but it's really cute. Look at the sunflowers at the front. We're going to break it down. I'm going to show you what I did, all of the details on this thing because there's a lot. So for my landscaping, I used a lot of these like pink bushes. I kind of like repeated the same pattern over and over after I figured out what flowers I wanted to use. Sunflowers at the front, which was like a last minute addition, but I put them in these cute little pots. Sunflowers just make me so happy. I don't know what it is. They literally just like symbolize happiness in my eyes. <laughs> so that's that. Along the side, we've got this little picnic area. I have tons of areas for lounging. Of course, we've got the two floaties. We've got the two lounges on each side, one in the shade and one in the sun. I've got a hot tub area for our Sims to chill in the hot tub. We have a lot of room for hosting too. So maybe these Sims were like high school besties or like, oh, they grew up together. I love when you have two like childhood like Sims, <laughs> like kids. You meet them like in school or something and they grow up and become friends like for their entire lives. That's so sweet. That's kind of what I'm envisioning for this. Fire pit back here with the guitar and a cooler. I actually really like this area. These here are from outdoor retreat. I think it looks so pretty with the glow it gives off. And then I think the last thing that I put out here as like something to do is this little pergola again with that little outdoor retreat light and two easels with a stool. I also added these two here. I feel like I should maybe add another stool then, right? Two of everything. <laughs> I guess in like an alternate story, it could be a house for twins or like college roommates or something. But either way, two Sims live in here. Best use for life. Does it does all. <laughs> so let's go inside. I actually did uh, a floor plan. So for these two houses, the left one is 
gonna be slightly bigger because they have that expansion. So this room, I haven't really decided. I don't wanna do like a greenhouse. I wanna do something different, but we're gonna have our living room right here. I wanna put my TV mounted right in between the middle here. And we could do like a TV unit or something. We're gonna have a kitchen over on this side and then obviously our entry area at the front. We'll have a bathroom here and then upstairs, I'm gonna have just a big open bedroom for the upstairs. This could be another room where the Sims hang out together, a bathroom. And then I have my door like leading out to the other house and it's gonna basically repeat like bedroom, bathroom, and then everything downstairs. So let's start over here with this one. This is gonna be, I think more of like a neutral one. The other one I think I want to be a little bit more colorful and definitely gonna be doing like opposite kind of styles here. Oh, fun. And then later we could do opposite kind of like Sims for the walkthrough. That's gonna be cute. So for this side, I'm thinking a lot of like earthy tones, a lot of browns, green. I'm gonna go download some gallery art first and foremost. We're gonna go to a holy shmo wow. Whoa, they're so close to 11K, nice. <laughs> That's looking cute so far. Okay, so I have this little like hack that you guys actually came up with. I was complaining about my love hate relationship with this here. I love this frame, hate the pictures that come with it. Other than this one, I mean, it's not that bad, but you guys were like, Sid, why don't you just use the frame? and then put another picture in it. And I was like, duh, why did I not think of that? I'm gonna do that with the art that I downloaded off the gallery. I'm basically just putting two right on top of each other. I've got BB.move objects on. And now I can take one of these. I don't know how I feel about this picture per se, but, and I'm just gonna adjust to make it look like this is one frame. It's a little bit glitchy, but I mean, I think that looks really cool. I'll just kind of center that over there. And our front foyer is looking really cute. I'm picturing like maybe a big bookshelf right here. We can maybe do that one here from Seasons. And then yeah, this is where I wanted to build like a big TV unit. So I think I want to use Dream Home Decorator in this like dark brown swatch and we can make our little unit down here. I'm going to use these and I'm just going to bring them up and around my TV like this. Then we can fill this up with clutter. I'm going to center that. And then because of the little bump outs that I did, this can be a perfect spot for my kitchen. So I think I want to use some jungle adventure counters maybe and we can wrap this this way. I've already started with some of my clutter. I'm picturing this sim that lives here a little bit more neat. Like they're probably going to have the neat tray. They're organized. I do feel like cluttering, so I'm not gonna like say this house is clutter free, but it is gonna be a lot cleaner than the other one. I do have the room too. I could wrap this around and make an island. This could be another spot for hosting. Oh, and you know, it would be cute if we came over and did like a movie night. I need to put popcorn. I like to make sure that my builds are cute, but I also like to make sure that there's things for you to do if you do download it off the gallery. Like my idea of a perfect build is one that you don't have to leave the lot to have fun on. Like I remember when I was bad at building, I didn't know how to build a proper house. So I would always forget like skill items. I would never have anything fun for my Sims to do. And I would rely on like going off the lot to do a lot of things. But now I'm like, I wanna make sure my Sims are content at home. I wanna be able to have people over if I can. So, so far this is what my living room is looking like. I'm decorating over on my desk here a little bit, working a little bit on my kitchen clutter too. I love these little things from base game. They're like these aprons that just hang on the wall. I think they look so cute. Cute. And I'm trying to think of what I want to do in that little expansion part of the home. I personally love having my Sims work from home. So I always try and include little like spaces for that. And one thing I always forget about in the Sims is Get Famous has this like hairdresser chair. <laughs> Let me show you what I mean. So this is going to be what my room is looking like for now. I'm picturing this item here from Get Famous. So basically what this is an all in one styling station. So I think you can do makeup here. Yeah, hair and makeup. So maybe this is like a makeup artist or a hairstylist or both, I guess. Oh my God, cute. And then they can do each other's like hair or makeup services for free. Yeah, so let's build like a little hair studio in here. I love these from Vintage Glamour. They have like different lengths. So you could do a whole wall full of mirror if you want to. And I think with that, I want this to be kind of like fancy. So what if I did like dine out has this here and it actually has like a little light in it. So we'll put two of these right by there. And then this could be used for like letter. We could put the hair dryer on here. I do know there's hair dryer clutter somewhere. I think it might be Parenthood. Yes, Parenthood has this like clutter there. That's perfect. Not too much though. They also have this little like makeup palette. Maybe I'll put that over there. What else could we put in here from Get Famous? I know there's like a pedestal. Yeah, okay. I always forget about this item. It's like a little block, like literally just a pristine pedestal. It reminds me of my most expensive mansion build because 
this. They're so expensive. They're like $1,000 a piece. So there's our hairdresser studio. I think I'm actually going to put a broom in here. Like if you had to sweep up the hair, I can just put the laundry day one like right outside. And then this is actually perfect because if you wanted to have clients, your bathroom isn't too far for them to go. So we can do a bathroom over here. So for this one, we can do a shower there. I can go and get my toilet. I'm thinking like a double sink moment. I almost forgot the one thing I said I wanted, which is the popcorn maker. So I put that there and I think this is good for our bottom floor. My bathroom is complete. I did just a double mirror with the lights hanging over top and just some shelves on the other side. And I think we're good to go upstairs. So I won't lie. I am a little bit worried about doing this bedroom because it's so awkwardly shaped. It's very long. So I'm going to have to figure out like ways to kind of split the room. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and get a bed. So I think I'm going to use this one here from Eco Lifestyle. It's a lot more like warm and cozy upstairs. I'm kind of thinking about it. I might come back and do this one last. I think I want to do the other apartment first. Let's put this on pause. I'm going to come back to this bedroom in a bit. We're going to go over and do the second best friend house in the Sims 4. So the color scheme that I picked is a little bit out there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm planning on doing this like pink, orange, yellow, and green um, situation. So what I've done, I've got this base game wallpaper on the one side, eco lifestyle in this like pinky color on the other. And then upstairs, I found this one here, which is from Jungle Adventure, which has these like hidden pastel swatches in there. So I'm using this. I might actually bring that down to like match right here. I kind of have a feeling this house might be one of those ones that looks a little crazy before it looks good because that is a lime green couch <laughs> that we've just added. But I need a pink rug. Actually, you know what? I'm going to use my color filter for this one. We could do strange reveal this pink rug here. That rug is so extra. Every time I use it, I feel like I'm making a mistake, but like kind of obsessed with it at the same time. I think I want to get all of my essentials maybe out of the way first so that I can focus on just cluttering this up. Remember when we only had country kitchen and like bust the dust and like those three that came out? Good times. <laughs> These little clutter pieces from Cottage Living are perfect. Like that is exactly my color scheme. I also have this bread box over here from Parenthood looking cute and this mint green like spot a incense holder thing. I feel like the, the best friend that lives in this apartment is definitely more like free willed, maybe a little bit more on the wild side, whereas the other one I think is a little bit more reserved. So I'm really trying to like play into that here for the two of them. And then for this room over here, I was kind of picturing a desk like right there. So if this sim is going to work from home, then this could be like a perfect little office space. You could open and close the doors if you had to like go in here and get some privacy. I'm trying to find like goofy clutter. Like I like this cat thing. I have the cat lamp over there. My voice keeps cracking today. I feel like I'm getting like a sore throat or something. Oh, let's put that guy. I always forget about this thing. That's from Discovery University. I put the Blooming Rooms kit curtains over top of there, a little bookshelf, eco lifestyle fireplace. And then I added a guitar just for decor. But again, your Sims could use it if they want to with another Blooming Rooms kit shelf. I think we're finished with our second house here or our second side of the house. Super colorful. I've got this little closet area at the front with some plants, some decor, a little paranormal dining space with tons of clutter. I really love like how this is turning out. I still have a bathroom that I have to do. So Cottage Living has this like pink bathtub. We're definitely going to bring that out. I'm going to use some hanging plants as decor. One time someone said they had hanging plants in their house that they put above their bathtub like this and the steam like rises up and like gives them moisture. I was like, you are living correctly. That is genius. I don't even have a bathtub, let alone the hanging plants for it. Because of my pink bathtub, I think I could match this up with my tiny living shelf there. And I think I'm to leave that for my bathroom. I do need to make sure I have curtains though because we're facing the other house. That would be hilarious. Just so that it's covered up like a little bit. Let's go upstairs. We're going to do the bedrooms. All right. So first of all, up here, I put this while I was building downstairs. I put this like hamster up here from my first pet stuff. It's almost going to be like a boho theme that I'm going for, like boho, but like on the extreme colorful side. And then underneath, I can do this rug from Paranormal. I'm going to do a base game dresser over in this corner and then I can kind of like make something out of this here. Like we can do some sectionals right along this wall. This can be a nice place to like come hang out and chat or even like someone could be lounging on the bed and like chatting on the sectional over there too. Cute. Maybe we can do some stranger filled pictures here literally just because I like the color scheme of these. <laughs> and then on this side, maybe we can do one of these mirrors because I'm pretty sure there's like a picture in here. I don't know if 
if that's supposed to be like a couple or what's going on, but we'll keep those. It can be like the pictures for the best friends or whatever. Since my stairs are right here, I kind of want to make this wall like really cute. So I might put like a big picture up there. I might do that same trick that I did earlier with the paranormal frame like this one. And then I could put a picture in there. There we go. And then I just added this paranormal table here as well as these blooming room kits flowers. I'm also working on this area over here where I've added these lanterns from the Oasis Courtyard kit. This is actually from City Living. This is another really like colorful item that I always forget about, but it's so pretty. It comes in like all these nice swatches. I'm going to use that green one there. And I feel like this room is kind of coming along nicely. I do want one more thing for them to do in here. Some sort of like cute activity that they can do together. Ooh, we could do a dartboard. Oh my God. Imagine like coming up the stairs and just getting clonked with one of those. Maybe I'll put that in the other room. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna finish off this bathroom here before moving back to the first house. This one, maybe I'll put a shower. Actually, Jungle Adventure has this cute swatch for that. I think I might use that one there. We can get our toilet and I'm probably gonna do just another like colorful sink on this side. And since it's a bedroom washroom, I'm gonna use a smiley face. Why not? I think we can go and do the second bedroom to complete this whole house, bring it all together, and then we're gonna do the walk through. Okay, so this was more of the neutral side. I need to get like a brown bed, a dark brown, a green. Maybe a green would be cute. Dream Home Decorator has like a really nice green and brown. And actually, I think with the industrial loft kit, I know they kind of have the same color scheme. Maybe I could combine the two there. Like we could do end tables here. But with that like dark green, it's going to end up looking a little bit more industrial than the downstairs, I think, which I'm fine with. And then this dresser can fit perfectly. And I think the couches have like green pillows if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, like that. I can put my couch over there. I was kind of thinking about having laundry in this one too. So I think I'm going to do a laundry area kind of in this little like bump out. We're blocking that window a little. I'm going to like just squeeze it up. Maybe the one like the hairdresser is a little bit more established than the other sim. I'm picturing these sims like let's say they grew up together. The one kind of matured a little bit faster than the other. And but even though they did that, they still didn't like separate. They didn't lose their friendship or anything. They still still remained friends, but they kind of grew in separate ways. But I don't think there's going to be any like resentment. I think they probably get along best because they're so opposite. It's very clear to see that the sim that lives on this side is a lot more professional than the other one. I need a job for the other one. You guys feel free to write a story for these sims. I am going to make them in their aesthetic, but feel free to like come up with your own story, move your own best friends into this house. I think now I like it. I think it looks cute. Okay, so I have one more bathroom I got to do. I'm going to clutter up a little bit more, make my Sims, do the walkthrough, and I will see you guys at the very end. So here's our Sims all moved in, hanging out in the backyard. Oh my God. Oh my God. I thought we were going to have a death. Anyway. Okay. She's fine. She's fine. <laughs> so these are our best friends. We're going to say that they've lived here for a while. I don't think they're just moving in. They've lived here for many years. So what you can do to make sure that your Sims live in the proper houses is you can go ahead and log for specific sim then you just lock it for the other sim living here there's not really a way that you could do two separate houses on one lot in the sims 4 which is kind of sad but that's the way to go around it so here's our sim number one in her bedroom i'm always scared that they're gonna come in here and like say that they hate their decor that would be so embarrassing but here we are super cute loving the industrial vibes in here on this side we've got our sim lounging around this is our apartment number two who no one surprised this is definitely my favorite one. I love the colors in here. It looks so pretty. Definitely decorated in my style. This is how the office space turned out. I love this door from the industrial loft kit. I think it looks so pretty. I love how this is separate off. So it could be a private room if you wanted it to be. Even just coming down and going through this little bridge here. This is a really nice little feature of this build. Your best friends can come out here for a little dip in the pool. I freaking did not give them their bathing suits. So they're wearing shoes in there, but that's fine. And this is what our best friend's house is looking like. I really want to get my sim to go and do the other one's hair. So I'm going to do that real quick before we wrap up our build here. Oh, they're going to do it. I really want to see what her hair is going to look like. Oh God, they changed from the pool and put their clothes on the floor. That is so freaking cute. Stop. Oh my gosh. I'm basically just going to use this room for them to do their hair together. Oh my gosh. She's level one. So I'm sure this is probably not going to be too cute, but okay. Um, I mean, okay. It's, she's cute so she can pull it off I think but that blue our sims are gonna live happily ever after in their perfect best friend home that I made for them and there we go 
know that wraps up our perfect home build in the sims 4 i hope you guys enjoyed this one if you do make sure you guys give this video a like comment and subscribe and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one